What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we're going to go over to Spotlight Crash. So, tomorrow they're probably going to drop Spotlight Super Packs. That's War on the Street. Um, I do have work tomorrow. I'm going to try to um, get off for at like 30 minutes during work and come back and make a video. For you guys, uh, as usual, drop 20,000 MT. Like the video, so if you're new, for a chance to make 20,000 MT. Now, I am dropping this vid. This is pre recorded. We're gonna drop it around, I would say, 10 o'clock a.m., which is pretty early, right before the spotlights do drop. So, this is gonna prepare you on how to make that MT during the spotlight crash and whatnot. And as you guys can see, the market's actually slowing down a lot. So, we're gonna go over that. We're gonna go over a lot of things in this video, mostly the spotlight crash. So, if you have any spotlight cards, any cards in general, I would recommend selling. Um, personally, I do have Lamar. I do have a couple players that I do not want to sell yet. So I'm just going to simply hold on to my Lamar. I'm going to hold on to my... Wow, I mean, everything dropped a lot, actually. So right now, the market is actually crashed. It's crashing because YBC did drop a video already. Um, saying it's gonna crash, which I knew it was gonna crash, and uh, honestly, everyone's thinking it's gonna be uh, moment super packs. I mean, um, spotlight super packs, and I completely agree. I already called this out. It's probably gonna happen now. Kristaps is actually going for low right now. I would recommend not selling if you do have him. Hold on to him. He's gonna rise. Um, tomorrow is gonna be a really good day to buy anything you want honestly um if you have joe dumars if you have any pink diamonds and you did not do the set i would recommend selling and getting back tomorrow so right now i'll be selling my rashad lewis for a decent amount of mt i'm selling my rashad lewis i'm selling pretty much everything i do have my vince carters and then i'm picking them up tomorrow for a lot cheaper so you guys should do the same I'm going to go over a lot of things. So right now, my Joe Dumars, I got him for around 20-something K. I think he's around 30-something K. So pretty solid right there. There's a lot of things to go over. Let's see. Joe Dumars. Wow, he's 30K. So not even that much money. It's crazy how much they're dropping. Everyone thinks they're... If they don't drop Spotlight Super Packs and they drop some other packs, everyone is literally screwed. So that's the one scary thing that I have to say. Let's see, Rashad Lewis, here we go. 90, 84, 75, 61, that's a really good price. I would like to buy that and put all of them up for 73, make some MT right there, 72 something, they'll all sell, dude. People are doing these spotlight challenges day in and day out. I personally still need to do that. I have 15 challenges to go. I am a little bit behind, which is really annoying, but yeah, tomorrow is gonna be a really, really good day to snipe we're gonna have the aftermath and everything so this is my new plan so i'm gonna drop uh, a prepare video which is right now and then i'm gonna drop uh, a video on the new content and or i'm gonna drop a i'm gonna drop a video at about five o'clock at night so a lot to think about a lot to talk about i'm kind of hyped too um if you do have vince carter amethyst sell him he might go down to like 8k tomorrow he's gonna be a very common car to pull Spotlight Super Packs, as you guys know, do crash the auction big time. It's a really good time to invest in a ton of Spotlight Series players and then simply sell a couple days later. There's a lot of, honestly, some Spotlight Series players I would invest in. Um, I would say Vince Carter. I would say any of the rare cards in the set. So honestly, AI is going to drop to at least, uh, at least, uh, what's it called, 100k value tomorrow. We got the Jamal Wilkes and Jerry West. Those are not bad to stock up on. The Big O is going to be a good stock up because he's really good. Also, dude, James Worthy is going to be a must cop for all of us. I'm going to get my, James Worthy. He's going to be my starting three, bro. His defense and his offense with a 99 and 98 cannot be stopped. He's low-key one of the best smalls in the game. I will literally have a Giannis and James Worthy and Wal Frazier and Kristaps Porzingis as my three, one, two, three, four, five, And I'm going to have Reggie Lewis probably gonna switch him out for jimmy butler i'm looking at jimmy butler right now um everything on the auction is gonna drop a ton even larry bird even perzingis they're gonna drop if you want to pick them up you could i really recommend picking them up because bro Kristaps is a prime player he has a ton of value and honestly he's not gonna be in packs for a really long time so if you want 
I would recommend picking up a um a what's it called a Larry Bird or Chris Dobbs. Also, man, this Jimmy Butler is coming to the team very soon. He is a 95 overall diamond with 99 defense. I definitely need to get this card. He's so good, and his price might be around 60 something k. He's a sh insane shooting guard at six eight. Hall of Fame clamps, gold quick draw. He's got the badges. He's a diamond for 77k. Low key, one of the best cards. Also. If you guys have Kobe, if you guys have Vince Carter, I would recommend selling. Uh, let's see if we get a Kobe's night. Kobe is still expensive. Vince Carter is going to be really cheap tomorrow. Same with Hakeem. So I could possibly have a really, really stacked team after tomorrow. Everything is going to drop like crazy. And honestly, I would stick to the diamond filter tomorrow. I would literally just keep scrolling through Spotlight Series diamonds, bro. That's going to be the money method. Also, the pink diamond filter for the spotlights are going to be really hot as well. Pretty much anything to do with the spotlights tomorrow, you want to stack up. It doesn't matter what it is. You literally just have to know somewhat a little bit of pricing. And then, what's it called? You need to know a little bit of pricing and then put that pricing together and make a ton of MT. It's really simple. Tomorrow, my top three cards to invest in. I would have to say Hakeem, I would have to say Allen Iverson, I would have to say uh, some Abbeys like Vince Carter that are kind of rare, he's probably going to be like 4k tomorrow, uh, I'm trying to think, so Vince Carter, we got the Chris Paul, he's going to be really cheap tomorrow, Joe Dumars pink diamond, you get him for 20k, he'll probably go for 30, it's Joe Dumars, he has 99 defense and like 91 offense, he's actually a usable player, I would watch out for him, he might be a really good card to snipe. Um, let me see. Dumars, we got Hakeem, we got the Curry. Curry is actually a good value. Um, you could probably get a ton of Curries for around, I would say, maybe 50 ish K. He's gonna go back up to 70. Everyone does need to complete these spotlights. And now, this is what I understand if they do drop the spotlight packs, which I really do think they will, if they drop the spotlight packs. Does that mean they're going to drop the new Spotlight Friday? Or does that mean they're going to drop something else Friday and give us another week to grind them out? Because if that's the case, that's really big. I don't know how they did it, but um, will we see a new Spotlight directly after the Spotlight Series packs? Because then again, it is Chinese New Year this week. I don't know what they're doing. I, they did drop Yao already, so that's kind of interesting. I kind of want to figure out what they are doing next. Like, what is their next step to greatness? What is 2K trying to maneuver? I hate how they don't tell us anything. They don't give us hints. They don't, I don't know anything. So, if you guys would like to drop a comment, let me know what you think is going to drop. I honestly, like, if a spotlight's going to drop Chinese New Year, if someone has a leak of something, please, like, literally, please let me know down below. Comment, because I'm kind of confused myself. Like I said, I'm pretty much selling everything I got. I got the Rashard Lewis's. I got the Dumars. This is who I keep. So all I really have is Chris Dobbs. Oh my God, I got some my Paul George too. I got some my Wall Frazier. I got to sell everything. I'm actually not going to sell my Wall Frazier just because he is a god. Um, What is the... Is it Prime? It is Prime Paul George. So Paul George has got to go. We're going to try to stack up a 500k MT. Come home from work at about 5, grind the game a little bit, get a ton of stacks, sell all them Sunday and make tons of MT. I will keep you updated on what I do end up picking up. But right now, pretty much straightforward. Sell your cards on whatever you have. Literally, go to the auction, sell anything you got, get ready to ride. Um, Kristaps Porzingis, like I said, make sure to pick them up. Make sure to pick up any pink diamonds. Today, right now, is not a bad time to pick up either. Market is actually a little bit crashed right now bird dropped about 40k um brennan ingram dropped about 30k sga dropped about 30k pretty much everything's dropping right now tomorrow's gonna be a movie friday's gonna be a movie we're gonna have a lot of mt we're gonna be ready to roll and honestly hope you guys did enjoy the video right now i should right after these things sell i should be stacking around 500k mt i might i don't want to sell my lamar odom he's too good to sell so I'm going to show you my team before we do go. So we got Lamar at the four. If we could find him, unless I put him to my auctions. Here we go. We got Lamar Odom, our six man for now. Ah, that's that's a dub. Do we have any point guards back here? We really don't have a backup point guard right now. Uh, let's just say Trey Young. It's not really Trey Young. 
We'll run Luca. We'll run Rick Barry back here. So this is my team. We're gonna have a we have a lot of MT left. Believe me. Um, it's really nothing special. It's pretty much just a bunch of Nats. But honestly, it's pretty solid. When we do get Blake, we're just gonna add another stack power forward. Paul Millsap's gonna move down to the bench. And uh, obviously, we need a new point guard, shooting guard. I have plenty of MT for that. But my plan is to end up getting a stud shooting guard like Tracy McGrady there. And then simply getting um, a new point guard, possibly um, maybe Gilbert Arenas, maybe a Ben Simmons there. And then getting a really stud shooting guard like Jimmy Butler. I kind of want to get rid of my center too. I want to get Hakeem. So we're going to try to work on that. Hopefully it does pan out. But yeah, that's really all I got, guys. Hope you did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.